Have I ever told you how annoying my neighbor Stero is? We have all experienced it, and I know I have. To an extent, of course. So why? Is it that you can only hear mainly the bass, but you cannot see into your neighbor's window from your room? Have you ever wondered why we can hear a person talking from another room with an open doorway? This occurs because of diffraction. Waves have a potential to bend around corners and any obstacles that come in their way. That is why we can hear someone in the other room when the door is open. Suppose you bought a concert ticket. Without looking at the seating chart and end up sitting behind a large post, you would still be able to hear the concert quite well. This is because of the wavelengths of sound are long enough to bend around the post. If you were outside an open door, you would still hear the sound. That is the beauty of diffraction. As you can see in the corner of this building, why is it that we can only hear sound but we cannot see light around the corner? We experience this effect almost every day. The reason is diffraction. Well first, what is a wavelength? A wavelength is the distance between one crest to the next crest. Let's take an example. A sound wave with a wavelength of about 17 meters can easily bend around a gap or a corner that is 0.2 meters long. The larger the size of the gap is, the more the waves would get through easily, only needing the edges to bend in a little bit. The smaller the size of a gap is as compared to wavelength, the more the wave will have to bend to get through. On the other hand, wavelengths of light are really small as compared to sound waves. A red light has a wavelength of about 645 nanometers. Therefore, the size of the gap will also have to be about the size of the wavelength for the wave to diffract. This is the reason why we can hear around corners but not see around them. When the wavelengths of the waves are smaller than the gap, no diffraction occurs. Light has such a small wavelength compared to the gap that doesn't need to bend to get through, therefore no diffraction occurs. While sound on the other hand has a very large wavelength compared to a gap and will need to bend to get through that gap. This also means that it will cover a larger area after the gap. Since frequency and wavelengths are not directly proportional, lower frequency means the sound will have longer wavelengths. Therefore, the effect of diffraction will be more significant and we could be able to hear that noise of the car around the corner. Similarly, higher the frequency means shorter the wavelength of the sound. Therefore, the effect of the fraction will be insignificant and we would not be able to hear the car. The rainbow on the back of an everyday CD is related to the fraction, but that is a whole new topic to explore.